Simon says subscribe and click on the bell icon to receive notifications. The filter function is another brand new dynamic array in Excel 2021 that allows us to filter our data based on criteria that we specify. And we're going to be taking a look at the filter function over the next few lessons because there's lots of different ways that you can use this function. So let's start out in this lesson by understanding simply what the filter function does and how it might be useful. So on the left hand side, I have a reasonably large table. And this table just shows a list of students. It shows the exam that they took, the grade that they achieved, and also the date of their exam. And what I want to do here is create a few different filters so that I can get a list of the students that match that criteria. So maybe I want to filter for all students that sat a specific exam, so maybe the French exam. Maybe I want to see what exams occurred on a very specific date. Or maybe I want to see all of the students who failed the exam so I can send out letters inviting them to resit the test. I can do all of this using the filter function. Now, before we get into the actual filter function, we're going to do a couple of things to make our life easier. The first thing we're going to do is, you've probably guessed it, we're going to put our data set into a table. Control T. Yes, my data has headers. Let's click on OK. And let's immediately change that table style because it really is not very nice. And I think I'm just going to choose no table style. I'm also going to give my table a name. So we're going to call this exam results and hit enter. Now, the next thing I'm going to do just to make my life a lot easier is I'm going to create a data validation drop down list so I can easily select the exam from a list as opposed to having to type it into cell F4 each time. So we're going to utilize our unique function to get a unique list of all of the exams. And then we're going to use that list in our data validation. So let's click on a cell that's kind of out of the way. We're going to say equals unique. Let's select our list of exams, control shift down arrow, close off the unique function, hit enter, and now we have a unique list. Now I don't want these to have the unique formula underneath, so let's do control C and our little paste special trick. Let's paste the values directly over the top. So now I have this list, I'm going to create a data validation drop down so I can simply select them from a list. So up to data, we're going to go into data validation. We're going to create ourselves a drop down list and the source is going to be this range just here and click on OK. So now that makes it a lot easier for me to switch between the different exams. Now I'm going to do exactly the same for the dates and also the grades. The process is exactly the same, so I'm going to do that off camera. Join me back here in a couple of seconds and we'll continue on with the filter function. So now I have my three data validation drop down lists. Now, one thing I did when I was creating a unique list of the grades to get them to display A, B, C, D, E and then fail, I combined unique with sort. So I'm going to get you to have a go at that. We've seen how sort works and we've seen how unique works. So see if you can get these to list out in exactly the same way that I have. Now I'm going to leave date and grade blank at the moment and just focus on the exam. So I want to use the filter function to first of all, show me all of the students that sat the maths exam. So we're going to type in equals filter. Now, filter has three arguments and the last one is optional. Now, the array, again, the array is the information that we want to return. Now, we want to return student exam grade and date. So we need to select all of our data. Control shift down arrow to select that entire range, comma. Now, this is where we specify our criteria. So what we want to include, what is our filter? Well, our filter is the exam column maths. 
So what do we want to include? Well, we want to include the exam column, control, shift, down arrow. And that needs to equal whatever we have in cell F4. So at the moment, that is maths, comma. The final argument, which is the optional argument, is if we want to specify some text or something if it doesn't return any results. So in general, I tend to put in quotation marks, no records if it can't find anything. Close the bracket, hit enter, and like magic, we now have a list of all of the students who took the maths exam. Now, once again, column K doesn't have any formatting applied, so let's change this to short date format. So now, if I was to change this to French, that list is also going to change. So it makes it very simple for me to filter those results. Now, currently, we're just filtering by one piece of criteria, and that is the exam that the student sat. But it might be that we want to filter by two pieces of criteria, so maybe the exam and the date, or maybe three pieces of criteria, the exam, the date, and the grade. It might be that we want to see a list of all of the students that sat the science exam or achieved a grade of A. And this is where we start to build in logic to our filter function. And that's exactly what we're going to explore over the next four lessons. We're going to build in logic and I'm going to show you all of the different operators you can use to really refine your filter results. But in its most basic form, that is how the filter function works. Pretty straightforward. Now, if you're wondering about these columns over here, which have the data that we use to, to create our data validation dropdown, if you want to hide those, that's perfectly fine. We can right click, select hide, and that just removes them from view. This video is part of our complete set of courses for Excel 2021 and Excel 365. To take a look at our courses, click over there. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. And to see more Excel videos, click over there.